Hey everybody, today we are going to be creating a Flappy Bird knockoff in Python using the Pygame module. And it's just gonna be in rectangles everywhere and we're not gonna draw anything or we're not gonna import images for this time. You can do that later on but for now I'm just gonna use rectangles. So first of all we're gonna import Pygame obviously and then we're gonna import random. Because we're going to randomly generate the position of the obstacles. And then we're gonna do Pygame dot initialize which is labeled pygame dot and then in the module and then we are going to do window width we're just going to set the variables uh we, we're just going to put all of the values in a variable because we are going to use these variables later on to determine everything so just pick your resolution you like i'm just going to use 12 by 18 to 720 and then we are going to use these variables to create a window so win is equals to pygame dot display dot set mode and then we're gonna pass on in a tuple a uh, window width and then a window height after that is when we're gonna import the clock we're going to create a clock object from the class which is pygame.time.clock because we're going to use this class to set up the fps of the game and then we're going to create a class which is going to be the bird the bird is going to be a rectangle obviously but but just call it bird nonetheless for just having consistency and just knowing what it is so i'm going to first initialize so in this area we're gonna put the values inside a variable just so that we can use these variables later on very easily so i'm going to for the very start i'm going to have the x position of the bird to be zero we're gonna change these later on and then set off that y is equal to zero and no, just let's just change it right now we're gonna set the x position to window width into 0.2 and why we are using windows width instead of just hard coding a value just is because if somebody like if if, if you if somebody wants to in the future like change this resolution the game won't be affected by it so i'm just using uh related variables which are related to the resolution of the window and then a self y position is going to be window y into 0 0.5 just in middle of the y axis no it's not y it's height and then we're gonna have self dot vertical speed we're gonna just call it vsp short for vertical speed i'm gonna set this zero for now and then self dot jump speed which is just gonna be labeled self dot jump sp for now and we're gonna call it window width into 0 0.0025 i don't really know we're gonna tweak these variables later on and then self dot grv like how much gravity will be applied on the player or the bird object there will be window uh yeah i think we should take the jump hp also in relation to the height and then we're gonna the grv is, gonna, is going to be window height into 0 0.01 we're going to tweak these variables later on so just put whatever you want in here for now and then we are going to have define jump and this function will basically be called when we need to jump or when we press the space bar because that's why we are going to jump in this tutorial or in this video and i'm just going to call it uh, self.vsp is equals to negative self.jumpsp that should be pretty clear that there we add uh, we are setting the vertical speed to negative jump speed and then we are also going to have this uh have this function which we are going to move i mean like for now we have just been storing all the values in a variable we also need to apply those val values to somewhere so this is the function which you are going to use to uh, just apply all the values in short we are just going to change the main x and y positions of the bird in this area so just do self dot vsp plus equals gravity because we need to you know self dot self dot jerry because that's how it works you add gravity to the vertical speed so it basically means you're going down on the vertical axis and then we are going to do self dot y plus equals vertical speed self dot vertical speed I keep forgetting that and then we're going to have self dot what else we're going to do it's it's it's, it's yeah, this is it for now i don't think anything else and then i'm going to create a bird object using this class and I'm gonna do while true. I'm gonna run a loop, and which everything is gonna be here. So clock dot tick, 60 fps. This is why we uh, imported the clock class into a mod into an object because this is what we use to set the fps of the game you in. 
and then we are gonna do like just after the setting of the FPS we are going to check for input so for event in my game dot event dot get so what this does is, is, is it is basically getting all of the events that happened in the pi game window of our pi game window which include like uh, trying to close the window or just pressing a key pressing a button or anything like that it all just comes inside this and we are basically going through every single event in that list of events and checking like if event dot type is equals to pi game dot quit it's basically like a constant inside the pi game module which basically means if someone tries to close the pi game window and we're gonna do pi game dot quit because in pi game when a pi game window doesn't just automatically close and you press the close button you have to tell it to close when somebody asks it to close and we're gonna do if even dot type is equals to pi game dot key down and we're gonna do if even dot key is equals to uh pi game dot k space and basically you put k underscore and you can see all of these keys are available for you you can just use any key but uh, sp using space key is just like better for us i don't know you can also put a like or operator i can basically put multiple keys in there and anyway if you press the space key we're gonna do bird dot jump and then we have it now what this does is that it might jump i mean it will do the calculations but there's some physical or you know visual object which is which is being updated right now okay so we are going to draw a rectangle onto the screen at the position where the bird is so let's just make a variable inside the bird so we're gonna do self dot body body is gonna be a rectangle by game dot rect class and then the X position, Y position, and the width and height. We're gonna pass those values, and for the X position, I'm just gonna put self dot X and then self dot Y, and then just as I told you, I'm gonna have the width and height relative to the window size, just height here to be exact, because if if I use both width width and height, then we are gonna get a rectangle. We just want we just want a square, not a rectangle. So I'm gonna put window height, window height. Now obviously this width and height is very big, it will basically cover the entire screen almost, so we're gonna put into 0 0.0025 and another really small number into the same thing. And then our bird has a body which is basically a rectangle and we're gonna draw this rectangle onto the screen. So pygame.draw.rect and we're gonna draw it on the window surface. And then what color we have to draw it on i think we just go with perfect white this is rgb if in case you don't, don't you don't know and then we're gonna draw the bird's body so bird dot body because it's a rectangle just as we you know set it here and then we also need to update the display that's this is important just one more problem here that is that we do have the body but we are not changing the body's position like the body's position is just set when the object is initialized not after that so inside the move def def uh, inside the move function I'm also gonna have self dot body dot y because remember in this game the bird is stationary and only its y position moves right it doesn't move on the x-axis like it seems like it's moving on the x-axis but it actually it's not so I'm just gonna put self dot body dot y is equals to self dot y let's see what we have now it might require some error it might require some fixing and there we go nothing <laughs> now what did you do wrong in here well the problem is even though we did the whole thing we did not really you know we did not bring in the things all right like we define all of these now the problem is basically like we did not use this move variable like even did we even though we initial uh, even though we define the this function we also have to call it here there we go and we can see a small dot in here if you're on a very low resolution it might not even show up but it's really really tiny so i guess i'm just gonna go ahead and make it a little bit bigger there we go let's see what we have now so you can see that the pie game window is drawing the bird on the screen 
But the problem is that it's drawing the bird again and again on the screen. Like it's not erasing the previous bird before drawing the next one. So that's why it's like stacked up together. Now this video is running a little long, so I'm going to cut this video right here. So and if you want to see the next part, you can click on the screen right here. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next video.